Hi everyone, welcome to today's Current Affairs Daily Notes. To pay homage to Chandrayaan 2, which was launched yesterday on 22nd July, today's topic is Indian Space Research Organization. This is the second and the last part of this topic. Here we'll cover the top 10 achievements of ISRO, its future plans, and why it's becoming slowly a force to reckon with. I'm with Trisha from GK today and let us begin. So today we are going to discuss the following. Major branches of ISRO's research, the top 10 achievements of ISRO, future plans for Indian space program and some possible questions. So major branches of ISRO's research. Now ISRO's research mostly revolves around launching satellites to better understand space. ISRO satellite programs can be broadly divided into three categories, communication satellites, earth observation satellites and navigation satellites. One of the branches that ISRO especially concentrates on in the recent years is space exploration. Now let us understand each in some details. Communication satellites. So established in 1983 with commissioning of INSAT-1B, which is the Indian National Satellite System, it's one of the largest domestic communication satellite systems in Asia Pacific region with nine operational communication satellites placed in geostationary orbit. It initiated a major revolution in India's communication sector and sustained the same later. The INSAT system provides services to telecommunications, television broadcasting, satellite news gathering, social applications, weather forecasting, disaster warning and search and rescue operations. Next we come to Earth observation satellites. Starting with IRS-1A in 1988, ISRO has launched many operational remote sensing satellites. Today, India has one of the largest constellations of remote sensing satellites in operation. Varieties of instruments have been flown on board these satellites to provide necessary data in a diversified spatial, spectral and temporal resolutions to cater to different user requirements in the country and for global use. The data from these satellites are used for several applications covering agriculture, water resources, urban planning, rural development, mineral prospecting, environment, forestry, ocean resources, and disaster management. We also have our navigation satellites. It's an emerging satellite-based system with commercial and strategic applications. Navigation services are necessary to meet the emerging demands of the civil aviation requirements and to meet the user requirements of the positioning, navigation, and timing based on the independent satellite navigation system. To meet the civil aviation requirements, ISRO is working jointly with Airport Authority of India in establishing the GPS-aided Geo-Augmented Navigation or Gagan system. To meet the user requirements of positioning, navigation and timing services based on indigenous system, ISRO is establishing a regional satellite navigation system called Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System or IRNSS. Now let us take a look at ISRO's top 10 achievements till date. We begin with Arya Bhatta in 1975. It is the country's first satellite which is named after the famous Indian astronomer and mathematician Arya Bhatta. It marked a milestone in India's space program because it was completely designed in the country and launched from a Russian facility. Next we come to Indian National Satellite System of 1983. It is popularly known as INSAT. It is a new system in a network of satellites that facilitates communication and broadcasting across South Asian region. The first satellite in this series was placed into Earth orbit in 1983. With the launch of the satellite, it revolutionized the country's television and radio broadcasting. It brought to us Doordarshan, telecommunications and meteorological sectors. There are currently nine satellites in operation. Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle or PSLV now, this was developed in the 1990s and has become the Indian Space Mission's most reliable system. The PSLV carried out its first mission in 1993, but its first successful outing was the next year. It helped the launch of various satellites for historic missions, such as the Chandrayaan and Mangalyaan. PSLV often is considered as favorite among various organizations as a launch service provider. It has launched over 40 satellites for 19 countries, and that is the immense achievement we can be proud of. Chandrayaan 1 2008. It was the country's first unmanned lunar probe. 
With its launch, ISRO joined an elite list of just six space organizations to send an orbiter to the moon. Mangalyaan, which was in 2014, with the launch of the Mars Orbital Mission, India joined an exclusive global club. The mission cost was at least 10 times lower than a similar project by NASA of the USA, and the 450 crore rupee project revolved around the red planet, and its mission is to collect data on surface, atmosphere, and mineral composition of Mars. Then we had Astrosat in 2015. It is the first dedicated Indian astronomy mission aimed at studying celestial sources in X-ray, optical, and UV spectral bands simultaneously. One of the unique features of Astrosat mission is that it enables the simultaneous multi-wavelength observations of various astronomical objects with just a single satellite. In 2016, we had Indian Regional Navigation Satellite System. The seven satellite series which created India's very own satellite navigation system, it's an e-terrestrial satellite system and will provide services in marine navigation, disaster management, vehicle tracking and fleet management, and navigation aid for drivers. We also had the reusable launch vehicle in 2016. ISRO successfully tested this vehicle, which is called the Technology Demonstrator RLVTD, and it was built at a cost of just Rs. 95 crore. It is a winged flight vehicle known as India Space Shuttle. During the testing, the vehicle glided back onto a virtual runway in the Bay of Bengal in a 10-minute mission and was the first stage of a fully reusable vehicle. The vehicle system is seen as the future of low-cost, reliable and on-demand space access. India also achieved the humongous feat of launching 20 satellites with just one launch. It launched 20 satellites in one mission, a record for the space agency. Apart from ISRO's own satellites and those built by university students in the country, the mission carried satellites from the US, Canada, Germany and Indonesia. And finally, we come to this year's much-awaited Chandrayaan-2, which is India's second mission to the moon and is a totally indigenous mission comprising of an orbiter, lander and rover. It was launched yesterday and after reaching the 100km lunar orbit, the lander housing the rover will separate from the orbiter. After a controlled descent, the lander will soft land on the lunar surface at a specified site and deploy a rover. The payloads would collect scientific information on lunar topography, mineralogy, elemental abundance, lunar exosphere and signatures of hydroxyl and water ice. If you want to learn more about Chandrayaan 2, you can simply follow the link in the description. So now we move on to the future of Indian Space Programme. There's a string of interesting projects on the Indian Space Research Organization's to-do list in the near future. The Gaganyaan manned mission planned for 2022 is the best known big mission, but far from the only one for which the work is underway. The agency is also working on a total of seven interplanetary missions over the coming decade. The Aditya L1 mission is ISRO's first planned probe to study the sun's corona and its atmosphere. It is expected to launch during 2019-2020 on a PSLV rocket from Sriharikota. The corona is the outer layer of the sun which extends thousands of kilometers above the visible disk around it. In his 2018 Independence Day address, Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced that India will attempt to send astronauts to space on a spacecraft called the Gaganyaan by 2022. The mission will make India only the fourth nation in the world to accomplish the feat if successful. At Rs 10,000 crore, the Gaganyaan mission is India's biggest space mission so far. India's second mission to the Mars, the Mars Orbiter 2, is another planned mission by ISRO between 2022 and 2023. The Mangalyaan 2 orbiter will use aerobraking to lower its initial purpose and enter into an orbit more suitable for observation. And while the second mission in the Chandrayaan program is yet to land, ISRO has already announced the third mission in the series will also be carried out in the coming decade. Our neighboring planet Venus is often described as Earth's twin sister due to its similarities in size, densities, composition and gravity. Now ISRO also plans a mission to Venus. Being 30% closer to the Sun than Earth, Venus has a much higher exposure to solar radiation, which makes it an interesting object for ISRO to study. 
There's also the ExpoSat mission, which appears to be a follow-up to AstroSat mission. ISRO's multi-wavelength X-ray astronomy observatory studying X-ray sources in the universe. Considering the great success of AstroSat, the ExpoSat mission will further explore X-rays in the universe, specifically the polarization of bright X-ray sources in our universe. Another plan in the pipeline is a space station that will be built by India. Currently, the International Space Station is only functioning one, but it is supposed to be winding up by 2028. The proposed station will weigh 15 to 20 tons and will be available to host people for 15 to 20 days. It will be used to conduct microgravity tests. Now let us move on to some possible questions that may be asked. After Chandrayaan 2, which is the next big ticket project by ISRO, the immediate next project is Gaganyaan, which is supposed to set sail by 2022 which was India's first satellite launched. It's of course Aryabhata, named after the famous Indian astronomer and mathematician Aryabhata, who is also credited with discovering or uh, naming the number zero. That's all for this video. If you want to read more about Indian Space Research Organization, simply follow our link in the description below. And if you liked your efforts, please do like, share and subscribe. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.